Hello, proximity measures for binary attributes will now be discussed. Dissimilarity matrix, as we have seen earlier, gives us the values of distances between all pairs of objects stored in the data matrix. So we get an n cross n dissimilarity matrix. And why is measuring similarity important? Because we need to accomplish several tasks which this dissimilarity matrix would help in. Now, a binary attribute is a nominal attribute with two categories, 0 or 1, and it could be symmetric or asymmetric. Now, we cannot consider a binary attribute as interval scaled or as other numeric attributes, even though it has the value 0 and 1. The distance computation, that is why, has to be different. Now, we assume equal weightage to all binary variables. We are not talking about any weighted variables here. So, if all the binary variables in our data matrix are of equal weightage, we make a 2 cross 2 contingency table for any two objects, i and so, how do we make this contingency table? We have two objects, i and j, and the possible states for a binary variable are 1, 0. These are for object i, and these for object j. So, a is the number of variables that equal 1 for both objects i and j. b, this quantity b, is the number of variables that equals 0 for object i but 1 for object j. C is the number of variables that equal 1 for object i but 0 for j. And D where variables equal 0 for both objects i and j. And total number of variables is a plus b plus c plus d. Now, for symmetric binary variable, we have seen earlier symmetric binary variable where both the states, both the states are equally important. We have seen this in an earlier video, are equally important. So, for this kind of binary variable, the dissimilarity or distance dij is computed as b plus c divided by the entire set of variables, number of variables. So, as you may note, b and c give you the number of mismatches, where one of the variable is 1, the other is 0 and for the other c also. Now, so this is how we would compute dij, wherever binary variable is symmetric. Now, what about asymmetric binary variable? Here we have seen that the state which is coded as 0 is considered as of less important importance for the current application. So, D, what is D? Is the number of variables that equal 0 for both objects i and j. So, we say D is not important and we can ignore it. So, how do we write it? For a symmetric binary variable, dij is written as b plus c divided by a plus b plus c. See, the d is missing here. Okay, so this d is not included in the computation of the contingency table. Now, binary similarity is computed as 1 minus dissimilarity. And for an asymmetric binary variable, sim ij is computed as a by a plus b plus c because we don't include d. So, those similarity matches we don't include. So, a by a plus b plus c and this similarity is also known as the Jacquard coefficient. Okay. Now, we take an example. We have taken a data matrix with 5 data table which we can convert 
equivalent into a matrix, five data points or data samples. We have in all seven variables, out of which the first one, gender, is symmetric because you can easily code M or F as 0 or 1, whichever we wish to code as 0. So, here we, you can see that I have coded M as 0 and F as 1. You could have done it the other way also. But the rest of the variables, the symptom 1, symptom 2, symptom 3, as we can see, this is for 5 patients and their information about gender, 3 symptoms and response to 3 tests. So, these are asymmetric variables. Okay. So, whether symptom is present or not, why yes, or it could be positive, negative, whatever be our coding, meaning the same. The only thing which is important is the P is important and the yes is important. The presence or positive is important. So, all these we code as 1. So, you can see symptom 1. The three ones, then a zero and one. Similarly, here you can match the coding where all the positives are one and the negatives are zero. Now, okay, so now we do the distance computation for two data points, Anil and Deepak, and we make the contingency table. So, this A. This gives you the number of matches of 1 in both the, we are not bothered about this, I am just striking it off. So, if you look at these two rows, there is only one place where you have both y's. So, this value is 1. This b, where object Deepak is 1 and Anil is 0. So, Deepak is 1 and Anil is 0. This is again 1. And so this is our B. C is where Deepak is 0 and Anil is 1. So here again, this is this, this is C, and D is the these three matches of 0, and which is not important for us. So the distance we compute as 1 plus 1, B plus C and A plus B plus C is 2 by 3. Right? Considering the asymmetric binary variables, we compute the distance between two objects. Okay. Now, we do this computation for objects Anil and Seema. Now, this value A, where both of them are 1, comes out to be, let us see, so, this is Anil, sorry, this is Anil and Seema are both one. So, one instance and another one here. So, this two are Y and this is PP. So, this gives us a count of two. Now, let us look at the count of where Seema is one and Anil is zero. The Seema is one and Anil here, I see. So, similarly, you can match out all the other components A, B, C and here we get the dissimilarity or distance as 1 by 3. So, this is the data matrix and the final dissimilarity matrix computed in the manner as discussed earlier. We see there is a small observation which we can make here. Deepak and Sabha. So, which is this? component Deepak and Sabha. Look at this. The distance is maximum. You get a value of 1 which is maximum. So, which means these two points are most dissimilar to each other. We can Deepak and Sabha. As you can see, other than the zero matches which does not hold any importance, there is no other match. So, obviously, our distance computation gives us an idea of the similarity between the variables. So, thank you. In later videos, we proceed on for other proximity measures. Thank you for watching.